Hello and welcome to this modular blueprint lobby solution tutorial about how to change the game modes, add more game modes, how to add maps and how to change the game settings. So to just give you a quick introduction what this is about, if you go into the lobby level and then start your game in a new editor pie window, then you see that you get in the lobby here and if you press tab we get this lobby menu here. And inside of the lobby menu, we see the map that is selected as our map that we are going to. So that's our gameplay map. We see a game mode description. So currently we are on the game mode free for all and free for all has a description here. And then we can go to game settings and here we can see the settings for this game mode. So uh, over here in the game settings panel, we can actually switch out the game mode. So we can go from free for all to the playground game mode. You can see that the description matches and switches as well. And over here we can switch the game mode maps. So for this game mode free for all, we got woodlands, shipyard and moon base. And for this one playground, we got schoolyard and modern mall. And as you see, when I change the game modes here, the game settings here also change. And some of these game settings have, for instance, this one have six settings. This one might have, I don't know. So this is all up to you, how you, how you set this basically. And that's what I'm going to teach you in this video. And uh, per game setting, you also see that there is descriptions here that you can add. Some don't have descriptions, some do. And some even have a tooltip with an image in it. So let's take a look at how you can set this all up and how you can change this or add more game modes. So uh, the first thing you're going to do is inside of this blueprint folder here, there is this folder called data. And the first thing I recommend is adding more maps. So when you add more maps, we have the maps folder over here. And uh, the important thing to know is that these are your main maps. So this is the boot level. It's where the game starts up. From the boot level, the game automatically goes into the main menu level. And then we have a transition level for traveling from the lobby to a gameplay map. So we go from boot to main menu, then we go into the lobby and then the lobby transitions. So we quickly load into transition map, which is just an empty map. And then we go into the gameplay levels. And these are all uh, placeholder gameplay map levels. So as you see, when I load them, you see the name and everything. So uh, yeah, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is add more gameplay levels, of course. So you just right click, you duplicate, or you just create your own complete level from scratch. You can do that in the top left here, new level, and then make a level for yourself. And then you have to remember the name for that level. So once you got that level, we're gonna go over to data, and then here we have this data table, DT stands for data table, available gameplay maps. So if we double click that and dock this to the top here, then we can see that currently we got five gameplay maps. So it's three maps for the free for all game mode and two maps currently for the other game mode called playground. Uh, and what you see here is if you click on these, on these maps here, or levels, you can also call it, you can see that these are the properties for the map. So we can set a map name, a map description, uh, a map preview image and a map big image and an unreal map. So map preview image, it's the image that we see over here. If we press, oh, sorry, I have to go to the lobby level real quick uh, over here. So if we hit play in the lobby level, hit tab, then this is that preview image and you see it here again. So that is what this image here is for. And then the map big image, that's what the actual image for the map is in the loading screen. So there is a function that when you travel to a gameplay map, you will actually see this loading screen image. So if you set that up over here in the loading screen corresponding to your map, they can actually have custom map images for the loading screen. And then over here, Unreal map name, that's the actual uh, name which you have to exactly type the way it is in your maps folder over here under gameplay maps. So for instance, for a uh, moon base, it's exactly moon base underscore level. And be sure that uh, this is capital sensitive. So type it uh, correctly. What you can also do is double click it slowly, control copy, and then you can go to your data table and paste it in here. So how do you add more levels here? Well, first of all, you can change the ones that are currently in here, but you can also simply hit this add button here. You will see a new row and make sure that the row name is corresponding to the map name. So over here, you could, for instance, type my new map, something like that, control copy, and you paste that one here. 
Uh, then you can type a map description if you want to do that. Currently, we don't pull the map description in the MBLS setup. So uh, it is there as a property. So if you do want to pull a map description, for instance, inside of the loading screen, you could definitely do that. Um, but for now, you could leave it empty or just type whatever you like here. Then we have the preview image, which I just explained, the big map image, and then the name here. So this name... Uh, would then be my new map underscore level since I always use underscore level uh, as you see over here. So that's how you can add new maps. Then let's take a look at how we can then change game modes. So uh, that's over here. If we hit tab to go to game settings, here you see the game modes. And what you see is if you switch your game mode, your game settings automatically change and the maps also change. So if I go here to the second game mode called playground, we see that the, the first available gameplay map for this game mode gets selected and we see that all the game settings here switched. So let's take a look at how that is managed. So we click over here on data and then you see here next to available gameplay maps, you see data table available game modes. So that one you'll want to double click to open it. And here you see in the row names, we see that we currently have two game modes, so free for all and playground. Uh, and let's talk about these properties. So each game mode has a name. That's the name that you see over here. So it's this name here, and it's the name that displays here inside of the switcher. Then apart from that, we see that each game mode has a description. So that's that description that you see as well inside of that lobby menu panel. Then we have the game mode maps. Here you can specify the maps that are available for this game mode. And then we have the available game mode settings. And as you see currently here, we have five settings and you can open these up and then you have a setting name. So for instance, you can have a setting called match duration and then you can say the options for that setting. And per setting, you could also configure the tooltip. So you can turn on the tooltip, apply a tooltip image if, if necessary. Uh, the tooltip title should be the same as the setting name. And then here you can type a tooltip description. So to look at that in action once more, we go over here. Here we see the setting name. Here are the settings available. So the options available for this setting. And here we see the corresponding tooltip. So uh, let's make a new one from scratch so you guys understand how this works. So you can either go ahead and change the current game modes or simply add another one. So click the add button here and then type in your game mode name. So let's do, for instance, prop hunt, right? That would be a fun game mode. We can then go ahead and copy that name. And then here inside of the game mode name, we can go ahead and paste that. So let's call this one prop hunt. Then we can go ahead and type a description for this game mode so we can say Prop Hunt is a fun game mode in which hunters have to hunt for players that are disguised as props. I think that's how you write it. <laughs> okay, anyways, so that's how we do that. Now here we have to do the game mode maps. So like I said previously, we can go to the gameplay maps here and use the current maps, or we can just make new levels and then copy paste that name in there. So for this game mode, let's say that we have to map shipyard and we have to map modern mall. So uh, inside of here, we are going to type our friendly map names. So what I mean by that is um, that here we see shipyard underscore level. And if we go to the gameplay maps data table, uh, when we click on the level here, so schoolyard, for instance, we see the Unreal map name. And here on top, we see the friendly map name. So the friendly map name is what you want to copy. So if we go here to shipyard, I can copy the friendly map name and then paste it over here. And if I want to have modern mall as well, so this one, I can copy the friendly map name here and paste that one in here as well. So now we got two maps for this game mode. And then we want to set some settings here. So let's hit the plus open this setting up and here we can have a setting name. So let's do uh, some setting called, for instance, prop disguise time. I think that's how you write it. <laughs> uh, and then for prop disguise time, you could say uh, 10 minutes and you could say 20 minutes and for instance, 30 minutes. And then uh, as explained previously, you could add a description to the settings so that players and ho players that host the match better understand what this setting is. So let's do enable tooltip. And then the title, it's the name for the setting. And then you could say, this is the time that players can be disguised. If that's how you write it. <laughs> and you could also add an image here. So for this example, 
Uh, let's leave it at empty. Um, okay, so let's take a look at what we currently have. So um, we got one setting. Let's add one more. If I hit plus here, let's just quickly do um, amount of lives, for instance. And let's do three options, life one, two, three. Let's actually do five. Why not? All right. So, and this one, we don't do a tooltip, so we just leave this empty. So let's take a look at what we have currently achieved. If I go to lobby and hit save all first to save my data tables, then we hit play. I press tab, go to game settings, and then it's the third game mode here. So I go to the right, to the right, and here we go. We got prop hunt. We got a proper description here. So prop hunt is a fun game mode, etc. We see that we have the map shipyard that we selected. And if we go to the right, we also have the map modern mall. And here we see our settings. So prop disguise time, it has this tooltip here with the information that we filled in. We got 10 minutes here as an option, 20, 30, and that's it. And for amount of lives, we can go up to five, as you see. So that's how easy it is to configure this. And all of this is automatically replicated as well. So here you see, Modern mob prop hunt, and that's it. So as I can show you here, we do two players, listen server, start this up. Then let's make the server a little bit smaller and the client a little bit bigger. So if we hit on tap here on the client and then also tap on the server, I can go over to prop hunt. You can see that it properly changes and gets the first available gameplay map. And if I go to game settings, we can see as a client, all the same settings as the server. And if the server changes the settings, we can see the client update in real time as well. So all of this is automatically replicated. And the only thing you have to do is go to data, change your maps and configure your game modes. All right, that's it for this video. Bye guys.